With Halloween right around the corner, you may be looking for ways to get spooked and have a thrill in honor of the holiday. At The Summoning, you could do just that. Joining us now to talk about the fully immersive haunted theatrical experience, Peaches Christ. Peaches, welcome back. Oh, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so excited to have you here on Live in the Bay and to talk about The Summoning. Yes. Very spooky. I saw some of the previews for it. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> Well, let's talk about it. What is this theatrical experience? So it is truly immersive theater mashed up with an old school haunted house experience. So my creative collaborator, David Flower, and I, we grew up as kids loving haunted houses, loving Halloween, being huge horror fans. And then we both grew up to become uh, successful event producers. And, and we've put on events in um, you know, cities all over the country. Uh, what we wanted to do when we met each other was take our love of haunted houses and mash it up with storytelling and immersive theater. And so that's what we've done. It's a 60 minute immersive theatrical haunted attraction. So it is a story, there is a script, but we're also going to scare the S out of you. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So is the audience able to interact? That's a good question. So we know that some people really want to have a more immersive experience full of interaction. And some people want to go the old school route where no one touches me and I don't touch them. So what we've designed is a method where you can uh, get a red glow necklace to indicate to the cast and crew that you're opting in for more interactivity. And that means the actors can pull you uh, aside and isolate you into a one-on-one -on -one scene. They can, of course, grab you. Uh, you may be fed something. You may be electrocuted. Ooh. You may be asked to crawl. Uh, you're you're going to be separated from your group, you know. Um, and so those red necklace people, they really get the full experience. That full immersive yes. experience. Yes. Well, a part of that experience is the cast and crew. You yourself are part of that as well. Mm -hmm. How do you guys do the entire makeup and get everybody ready for an event like this? Well, we uh, cast a lot of people who work with me in other shows uh, and on movies. So a lot of the people that are in the show are actually really competent uh, drag performers who are really good at makeup. They're really good at prosthetics. They're really good at elaborate design. We also have a makeup designer, uh, Mikey Strider, who has a team of people and they're over in their area airbrushing actors and putting them all in makeup and so you know it's a big it's a big production so 48 people roll in every night and they come in looking normal and uh, and then they, <laughs> they become monsters Wow that is and you said 48 people yeah it's for so it's 48 people every night uh, performing for you um, and in order to make that work for the month I have right now 90 actors you know on payroll uh, who are being scheduled throughout the the month because we do the show and because there's scenes and there's drama and there's dialogue uh, we do the same scene 60 times a night mm -hmm. so it's literally literally kind of like in the thousands by the end of the run mm -hmm. for, for some of these actors. And Peaches, what about the venue? Why did you choose the location that you did? Well, I mean, I'm uh, so lucky. I can't believe it because I dreamt one day of doing a show at the old San Francisco Mint building. I had seen it years and years ago. I'd actually approached uh, the people who were there uh, maybe 10 years ago or so, and I wasn't able to get in to do a show. It wasn't possible. And then in 28, well, 2017, uh, I approached Nonplus Ultra, who's managing that venue, and said, I really want to do this immersive haunted attraction. I have this partner, David Flower. Would you be interested? And we're going to employ, you know, 150 Bay Area artists. We're going to make, you know, I really sold them. I gave them yeah. the big pitch. <laughs> and they said, sure, we'll partner with you. This sounds really great. We need a public facing event like that. And we'd like to help out and so we now have a year-round home at the San Francisco Mint building it takes us about a year to produce one show so even though we only run it for four and a half five weeks we're actually working on it for about a year um, wow. so we have an office there we have storage there and then we have designated rooms in the back of the building where we build the sets and Peaches, you do so many other wonderful performances throughout the year, but what makes this one, the summoning, so unique? 
Well, it's just so fun. <laughs> and there's not really anything kind of like it. I mean, yeah. the way to describe it is, I'm a filmmaker, so uh, I write a script, and then instead of you going to watch a movie, my goal is to take you on a 60-minute experience where you feel like you're in the movie. So this year, the guests are tasked with a, you know, with a, a mission. They have to go over into the spectral world after, um, you know, conducting a seance, and you have to go and find a set Severed head and have to return with the severed head. Uh -huh. And then something has to happen for the finale to occur. So it's a very active storytelling experience. To me, it's it's like if you were gonna do a movie in 4D, you know. Yeah. And what so is it family friendly? Can the kids come or is it a little too scary for the it's kiddos? It's not family friendly. However, <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the things that we actually use as a selling point um, because it's you know my show. Uh, it's very 18 plus. Um, so that a lot of the content is is very adult. It, it's very queer. It's very outrageous. Um, it's a lot of comedy mixed in with the horror. Um, there is, you know, full nudity. Um, there is sexuality presented. Uh, however, we heard from so many parents who would come and say, my kid could handle it. My kid could handle it. My kid would love it. So what we've done is uh, at the end of the month, we're doing a couple days of matinee shows where we're rating them PG-13. And I've gone in and created special costumes and rewritten scenes so we do have some matinee shows where you can come if you're 13. Oh, it's perfect. So then everybody does get a little bit of the summoning. Exactly. Now, wait, what are the dates? Uh, it starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow so starts through November, tomorrow, right? which is um, October 7th, yes. right? Okay. <laughs> We're like, what day is it? <laughs> and then it runs through November 6th. And so uh, you can you can see the full calendar. You know, we're dark on Mondays and Tuesdays, but um, it's TerraVault.com. TerraVault.com. Well, wonderful, Peaches. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks again here on Live me. in the Bay. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely.